All right, welcome back, everybody. Uh, I've got a quick uh, little tutorial for you today. Uh, I've had a couple requests on showing how I make my custom UI inside ZBrush. It's actually really simple, and I'm going to go through it with you today. I even updated uh, my current UI, so you guys can definitely go over to my Gumroad page and pick that up. It's updated on, on there as well. So if you've already got one in the past week or so, definitely go back, get another copy of it. It should show that it was updated uh, just recently. Um, so let's see. Uh, one more thing. I um, want to ask you guys, how's the volume on this one, on this tutorial? Is it uh, a little better than the last two? I guess uh, I had the volume cranked all the way up. Didn't really realize it because I had the speakers on... 50% so I didn't realize how loud my, my last two tutorials were let me know if that volume is good for you and even one more note if you hold off until the end of this I will kind of show you a quick preview of what we're going to go through on my next tutorial a little sneak peek so definitely hang out to the end so you can see that all right so let's go ahead and get started here it's a uh, really simple uh, if you just want to say like you want to load my UI you just go into configuration and you just load UI and you load that file you download it from Gumroad and so we're gonna start off with that uh, instead of starting off with the default uh, let's see so you got your UI all loaded up here but you want to add buttons or remove buttons and all that other stuff so it's really simple so if you go under, under the configuration and enable customize you'll see your screen space change just a little bit and now you have the option to start moving things around so say like I want uh, a particular brush okay so you can't uh, just drag it right off of this big brush right here or off this menu here it won't allow you to do that so what you want to do is say like I want uh, the morph brush all right I click on it you see the big one right there but you see the little one right there so if you do control alt and then click and drag oops and try not to hit another key at the same time so control alt click and drag and move it into the area you want it so I got them set up down here and you can notice that little white outline there is showing you the the window that you can add to and let's see so okay so I've got this new one down here but I don't want like clay buildup now okay so you do control alt and you click and just drop it just drop it on your canvas that deletes it and it's gone it doesn't remove it from the overall you know within the menu system it won't remove that part but it removes it from your custom UI so you can go into any one of these things so say like I want I want to always have uh, inflate so what you need to do is kind of find an area that's accessible for you so say like alt control alt click and drag and we'll drop him like right there and maybe I also want to have an offset in there so this way it's always available for me and it'll kind of snap to where you want you can even kind of overlap things but it, it it'll snap quite easily for you so there you go and that's it that's all there is to it you know it's it's really super easy to do this so let's see what other little tricks can I show you uh, one thing to mention under preferences and I'm gonna drag him over here so I can see him uh, if you go under let me find preferences shut him up and we got that going if you go under not custom UI but interface and this is going to kind of help determine everything size wise in here this button size I can't remember what the original default is but it's this one's lowered from the previous version and you can alter the size so the lowest that I was able to put it from my particular monitor which is 23 inches at 1920 by 10, 1080 so it only allowed me to go down to 38 so and that's how it, I was able to get the, the buttons a lot smaller than what they were 
Uh, when you do alter that, it will say you have to restart ZBrush for it to take effect. It's not built into the custom configuration, so you have to do this manually. Uh, I also disabled the wide buttons, you know, because it seemed like there was a lot of extra space that it was putting in there, you know, for more of the text to fill it up. And I, I, I don't really need that. I, I know what I'm looking at. So that's up to you whether you want. You can click wide. And as you can see, it, it gave, uh, you know, more width to all your buttons. But I disabled that. So that's entirely up to you. Um, yeah, obviously you want to customize your uh, UI based on your screen resolution. So say like you have a 4K monitor, uh, if you're rich, uh, and you would want to actually probably increase your button size so you can see it easier instead of squinting so hard. So, you know, it's, it's, it's really dependent on your resolution and your screen size and what you're able to actually see, you know, like this particular UI might be kind of harder for, you know, people that are nearsighted or farsighted. I'm not sure, but, uh, you know, but you can definitely do a lot of customization inside ZBrush to accommodate your style. Uh, so basically we've set everything up the way we want it. So I'm going to get rid of preferences. I'm just going to close that out. I'm going to close this here, uh, open up my tool because this is basically the way I want it. So basically any windows or tabs that are opened up at the time you store the configuration, that's the way it's gonna keep it. So if we go back to preferences, go back to configuration, turn off enable customize after you're happy with what you got. And then it resets the screen res for you. And all you gotta do is do preferences, store configuration. Once you do that, every time you boot up, ZBrush will be, exactly the same way you left it and then also save your ui in a different part of your hard drive so you can you know pull it up later or in case you have to reinstall zbrush you can you can uh, just load that ui you created so that is pretty much it for uh, customizing ui like i said it was going to be pretty quick and easy so basically quickly go over it enable customize and then just open up your menus and drag and drop everything by using control alt move it to where you want uh, if you see let me go back to preferences enable if uh, you start adding things uh, say like let me move let me add another let me do like unify here if I do control alt drag him up if you it will should actually let me just do it on this here i'll try to put them in this one to watch what happens it auto resizes everything to make it fit so you can technically put a whole other row or two right here of buttons if you wanted to do that but then you're starting to lose uh screen space so it, you know it's your preference so Control alt and then delete it's out of there you know so definitely quick and easy to do this store your configuration, save off your UI, reset your uh, interface to button size to get it to where you like it. And that's pretty much it, guys. So uh, let's go ahead and I'm going to do a quick preview. Uh, we're going to load up the Sphere 3D. Let me frame him up. Uh, it's kind of... Eh. I think we'll just stick with that. Make poly mesh. I'm going to divide him up. I want to get to probably about eh, two to eight million there, whatever. You know, the the more resolution you have, the better this. Uh... Okay, I don't know where that came from. Okay, so we are going to start playing in the next video. I'm going to load my brush up. We're going to start playing with uh, vector displacement brushes or VDMs or VDBs or whatever uh, ZBrush decided to call them, Pixelogic decided to call them. But uh, I'm going to show you how to make this really cool leaf brush from scratch. And then select another one. I got like eight of them in here. You can actually go to my Gumroad page and pick up this brush right now, uh, start playing with it. 
It's got a few variations in there. It's very cool technique. I didn't think I was going to have this much fun with it, but I've been playing with it for the past couple days and I'm pretty excited about it. But yeah, that's basically what we're going to be doing in the next video, guys. And uh, go over to Gumroad, pick up that uh, UI, pick up that uh, vector displacement brush there. Uh, it's free to pick up for both of them. So start playing with it. So yeah, we're going to have a lot of fun in the next tutorial. So we will catch you later. And guys, have a great day.